guys let me bring you closer so you can see the jollof rice yeah it's here the next thing i'm doing for the jollof is i'm going to add in my veggies in and like i showed in my other live streams to make jollof rice you just need to prepare your tomato sauce and for the tomato sauce i have the recipes here on my channel you can go to my stew recipes you'll find out how i prepare my tomato stew for jollof rice yeah and then also to prepare jollof rice i have the recipe here if you didn't come on time to see what i how i started that is if you want to learn you can go onto my channel you'll find different recipes of jollof rice i have fish or tomb fish jollof i have chicken jollof i have beef jollof i have shared a whole lot of jollof rice recipes here so you can check it out if you want to learn yeah and basically i cook ghana recipes and any recipe that finds my fantasy i also try it here and share with my beautiful people here so guys this is my jollof rice is doing good so veggies are in i'll leave it on a medium low heat yeah it shouldn't be too much i don't want it to burn so let me leave it at five i'll be watching it so let's continue so if you are new here this is my chicken for the stew i'm preparing here so that you be updated so the next thing i'm doing now is i'm preparing my veggies for my i forgot i took water to drink so sorry yeah i'm going to prepare my veggies for my beans stew yeah that is what i'm doing now so i'm going to use onion two of them for my beans These beans, we were supposed to have it today, but a friend of mine gave us something nice to have after church, so beans became too late to eat, so that is why I'm preparing it now. Then tomorrow, we can have it in the afternoon. So I'll go ahead and cut my onion. <laughs> and into my bowl. Also go ahead and prep my fresh tomatoes which I normally use this is how I do it it's very easy for me than to put it on the chopping board but if you are not used to it please use your chopping board it's fine <laughs> 